love that so much. All right, Jane, you are my favorite. So you have made some amazing things in the past, and you know that I eat way too much fast food, and I've been trying to get off garbage. So I did the whole Soylent thing. I've been like 16 days of just like mostly just drinking all my meals. But um, I definitely, like, I get headaches, I'm, like, sick, I hate people who eat food because I'm jealous of them. So, right. like, what, what are you doing over at your new, at your new um, juice bar? Yeah, so um, at Grassroots, I really wanted to take a, uh, an approach to showing people how to eat healthier by m making the best tasting smoothies that, uh, that are actually, that are out there, better than any other juice bar that I've ever been to, which would have to incorporate the um, superfoods that I've sourced from all over the place. And so um, in this juice bar, like you can order, uh, instead of a frappuccino, you can order a veggie chino. And then uh. this veggie chino, um, it would have the raw chocolate instead of using a processed chocolate and avocado, spinach, whole coffee beans. So at the same time, you're, when you want to get your coffee fix, you're getting your uh, vegetables for the day. So we just mix and match things together. And so the, you don't taste any vegetables at all. And the uh, drink that I have here today is called the Holy Grail of Greens, which is our number one bestseller. And so in this drink, you can get um, antioxidants and anti-inflammatories and chlorophyll and niacin and I mean, all, all kinds of goodness that comes through these drinks. There are a lot of people, like especially with these juice bars popping up where you have these um, extracted juices and you go on these three day detoxes and it's supposed to reset and change everything. But um, there is no quick fix to anything. What you really have to do is you have to change the way you eat entirely. You have to remove the toxins from your body. A few are all right, because your body is completely resilient to handling a, um, a substantial amount of toxins, but it can only go so far. So at, this, uh, at grassroots, I, and it's, it's actually proven to be quite successful, that um, everyone's kind of jumping on board to wanting to eat healthier and wanting to be more educated. Yeah, well, but you gotta understand, like, so I sit there and I program for hours, and like, I don't move until the hunger hurts so bad. Right. That, like, I can't avoid a pizza. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's a time thing. Yeah. And right? I have to tell you that I'm doing the same thing to myself. Being a first-time business owner, I have completely neglected my health because, I mean, you only have so much time in a day. And if I didn't have these juices in front of me and that wasn't a part of my job, I really don't know how <laughs> I would true, get the yeah. nutrition that I would need in my body. But um, this is just a quick fix for anybody. And so, so <laughs> what's going on? Those are edible, right? The sages, right. the sages in your butt and mind when you guys come in. The That's sages are good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we love them. Right. Okay. So, so what's, uh, yes. what are you doing with all this stuff? So here? this is what we're doing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about your about Soylent, and I'm also gonna talk to everyone everybody here about the magic of fruits and vegetables. Okay. I remember. And so Shane's got a juice bar called Grassroots right over the <laughs> Johnny Carson building, about right. three blocks from here. Right. So. Okay, so when we think of fruits and vegetables, we always try to narrow them down to their nutrient value. So we think of a banana as having potassium, as an orange as having vitamin C. Right. But um, that's actually that much of the entire equation. The reason why we eat fruits and vegetables is because of the electric magnetic currents that is transferred from our body from one living thing to another living thing. So if you guys ever watch the Discovery Channel and you watch a lion go in for its food, you don't watch that lion uh, flay that flay that meat and then throw it in a barbecue and throw high fructose barbecue sauce on it and eat it later for Fourth of July. They're immediately eating <laughs> that meat, taking those electric magnetic currents into their body. And so there is no replacement for whole food. It's just plain and simple. I get asked all the time. They go, "Well, what is the perfect diet?" And the perfect diet is plain and simple: eat food, not too much, mostly plants. So now it's up to you to discover what is actually food. So food is anything that we can recognize. It's nothing in a package. It's nothing with claims on it that says added uh, vitamin C and omega-3s. That stuff just naturally has that. So if you go buy avocados, you're not gonna see any claim on a bag of avocados. You're just buying avocados because you know they're good for you. And so in these drinks, I'm gonna make you guys a little drink here. All right, so in this holy grail of green, so the difference between what we do at grassroots and other juice bars that are popping up is that there's this juice fad happening with all these bottled cold-pressed juicing. And the difference between cold-pressed juicing and eating whole foods is you're eating the juice, which is the purest form of water, 
but it has tons of sugar. So you need the skin, you need the pulp, you need the fiber, you need the whole oh, entire geez. thing. So I'm gonna throw in some grapes. So almonds are not a superfood, but cashews are because of the monosaturated uh, fats that are in cashews, and um, they have, the, uh, they have uh, the highest dose of niacin of any food that you can get. Niacin really balances, balances out your hormones more than any prescription pill, oh. anything you put in your body. And then, <laughs> so kidding. the vegetables, how you, so how you determine what vegetable is healthier is which one's greener. Kale is number one, uh, collard greens is number two, watercress is number three, spinach is number four. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put in some aloe. Now this is something that nobody thinks about what eating. What is that thing? This is raw aloe. So raw aloe yes. is one of the biggest superfoods on the aloe. planet. It's Woo! used, yeah. yeah. That was, that was like, that was aloe, like so holla. So they use it in our, I love you. I love you. I love you? Uh, oh, I love what? you. What the hell is that? I have never so, seen that. that is like a you cut it on the skin, something. you take out the gel, and that is one of the number one things for inflammation that you can possibly get your hands on. And the great thing about aloe, you can grow it anywhere. And so we're going to put in that. I'm going to put in apricot. So in this particular drink, I took out the pit. But if you go in, like if you have, um, if you go to, to one of these holistic places, if you have cancer or um, any kind of ailment you could possibly think of, one of the things that the apricot pit does is you can take, break open the pit, you can take the acorn out of the apricot and you can actually juice that and the cyanide in the apricot pit actually stops cancer cells from growing. Oranges, take off the zest, lemon and lime, you leave the zest on. It's not acidic, it's really good for your body. And then oh, also what we do at Grassroots is uh, we actually on the Huntridge uh, Facebook uh, website uh, there we have a lot of great feedback on our juice bar but one of the negative things that we got was um, that our prices were a little bit high and so I said look at get him down here I want to do a whole little I want to do an explanation of why we have what we have why it costs what it costs and there's no point in juicing if you're gonna go to Fresh and Easy or Vons or Smith's and you're gonna buy conventionally grown fruits and vegetables with pesticides, with no minerals in the soil. So you're saying your margins aren't super huge? Our margins are not super huge. Okay, so huge. the money is going into the food. The money is going into okay. the love of what we do and to what juice bars are really meant for. A Jamba juice is meant for satisfying your taste buds. But a juice bar like Grassroots is meant for educating and because there's a different mindset. If you go to Old Face Donuts, you're going for a donut and you're going for a cup of coffee and there's no thinking about it. You just want a quick fix. For someone that would come into Grassroots and pay $11 for a smoothie, that is somebody who's really thinking about how they want to start off their day, their weight, if they're not feeling well. And I get these questions all the time. What can I take to boost my immune system? What can I take to lose weight? What can I take as a meal replacement? So there's a lot of thought from the customer. So there's got to be a lot of thought mm. from the service that we provide. Because you can't pull one past us because these are volunteers. That's like, right. We don't, we don't make money. <laughs> right. We don't have to advertise. And so with the, uh, <laughs> with the sweeteners that we have, so a lot of people, they use um, agave. Just so you guys know, agave is not great. Agave is a starch, like corn's a starch, and the way it's processed is very similar to high fructose corn syrup. So there's a lot of same side effects. So what we use instead of agave is something called coconut palm sugar, which is sold in the superfood aisles, and you actually get nutrients from using the sweetener, and it's very low in the glycemic index and doesn't spike your insulin levels at all. So we're using that, and then this is my favorite thing that I have at the juice barns, and everybody's catching on now. So when you go and order a smoothie, you'll see on the top, Sweet Greens, Ancient Delight, Super Berry, and uh, whatever the other one is, I can't remember. So what I did was I bought a ton of superfoods and I created four different flavors. And with those four flavors, each one of them complements a smoothie or a juice or a soup that you might order at the juice bar. So this particular one right here is uh, the Super Berry, which is made with purple corn, Purple corn is 10 times more antioxidants than a blueberry. It's made with ashwagandha root, which is used to alkalize the body. It's used in Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, and it's made with hemp seed protein, which is by far the best protein you can put in your body. And we have mesquite powder, which is, has more antioxidants than almost anything you can name, even more than garlic, ginger, or anything else. So our ice. So what point would it make, well, I mean, what would be the, oh, the yeah, point yeah, of, of making this drink if we're going to use ice from tap water? So we have an alkalizer on our machine. The ice is as healthy as the fruits and vegetables. <laughs> okay. 
So why not just chew up your food? Keep working. You would never chew your food that much. This machine just chews your food 100,000 times. It's broken down to a cellular level. So now when you drink this drink, instead of digesting 30% of the nutrient value, you digest almost 100% of the nutrient value with all the pulp and the fiber. So here, I want you to try this out. I've been drinking this juice for 97 years. Okay. It's amazing. <laughs> there you go. Just liquor in it. Throw some liquor uh, in there. And what's this one called again? This is called the Holy Grail. Most common. She says the most popular one the over most at Christmas. Most popular one. And I already know you don't like carrots. You mm. don't like kale. Don't bullshit me. I gotta tell you though, but it beats foraging for nuts and fighting lions. It does, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> mm. Fighting lions. Uh, Killing lions. No, it's really good. I like. You it can a lot. handle it, right? I can definitely handle it. No, you should. This soylent thing I'm eating tastes like crap, man. Hold on. Like, this thing see. is so much better. Maybe we could, yeah, we could probably, we got a bunch of cups let's there go, for the audience, so. Yeah. Okay. But, um. All right. We should wrap it, it up. So we'll what's the, so up. make sure, let, what, what do you, give me your address, tell people where they can, we're, we're going to pass that to the audience, but where can they come check you out? We are at, at the, we're at the Johnny Carson building on 6th Street and Suite 120. The name of the okay. uh, juice bar is called Grassroots. Oh, and good. Okay. we're open from 7 to 3. All right, this is like a last minute find for the cup here, so. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming out. We yeah, will get to everybody in the audience. You guys can come on up and grab some. So, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate you. you. Yeah, that was really good. It was thank really, you, really good.